Some of the biggest challenges I feel that Nova Scotia is facing as human rights, it's communities who are facing land uh, ownership issues, uh, communities facing racial discrimination. And when we think of consumer racial profiling, the disproportionate rates of police checks and the placement of uh, garbage dumps, environmental racism, there are many factors facing uh, this province. So many of the African Nova Scotian communities are still struggling with the positioning that they were given when they came, because most of the communities were established in the 1700s, early 1800s. And those were free blacks came, that's where they were permitted to live. Most people of African descent in Nova Scotia are still suffering the impact of racism in absolute silence. There has to be uh, an acknowledgement that the struggle is real. Race is not a card that we play, but it's a life that we live. For many, this is the skin that we're in. It's also a matter of having communication and listening. So sitting down and having what I call courageous conversations, actually having those open and honest conversations, and they're extremely difficult to have. People do not want to have those conversations. It makes them uncomfortable. But having the courage to sit down and say, you know what, we're going to have a conversation about race and discrimination and racial profiling. And these are what they are. Well, one of the initiatives that I'm really proud of and feels represents true progress is the work that we are doing with the African Nova Scotian community on land titles clarifications and to help people get clear title to the land that they live on. This has been a long-standing issue, but you know what? We have to take the time to get it right for the community. I'm hopeful that as we educate and empower people that uh, uh, a positive change will come. As Dr. Martin Luther King said, a change will not happen until we change ourselves and our own way of thinking. And we recognize that we are all in this together. I'm optimistic about the fact that more people are getting involved. When I stop and think of uh, the civil rights movement in the States with Martin Luther King Jr., the reason it was as successful as it was was because it wasn't just people of African descent, it was everybody. It is the UN decade of people of African descent and we have been working with community and various levels of government on a number of initiatives. There are still many challenges facing the African Nova Scotian community. That being said, I believe we're on the right path to healing and resolution. The government of Nova Scotia is committed and is taking action on addressing the disparities and systemic racism that have faced the African Nova Scotian community for generations. Our goal is to provide full access to all Nova Scotians in all facets of society.